Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to this festival on Sunday as we will dedicate our new windows. And announcements still the same as last week as we are preparing for our harvest dinner. Sign up sheets are there in the back of the church. And yeah, we look forward to a wonderful harvest dinner and a wonderful morning of worship. And we welcome David Potter today. Thank you, David, for being here with us today. Oh, I Come before you, 
Lord, these windows here we offer as the glass gives earthly shelter. So, Lord, you are our protector. As the glass admits the sunshine, may the light of resurrection from this time of dedication. You may be seated. I invite you to remain seated and sing Shine, Jesus Shine, hymn 671.
The text chosen for this day of our ritual dedication is a theme of light and all that we do to celebrate God and God, our creator of this beautiful creation that we live in. Our first reading today is from the first chapter of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless void and darkness covered the face of the deep. While the wind from God swept over the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. The word of the Lord. I invite you to join me in Psalm 100. All lands summon to praise God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all year. Worship the Lord with gladness. Know that the Lord is God, and that He that made us and we are His. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. Enter His gates with thanksgiving and His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him, bless His name. For the Lord is good. His chesed, His steadfast love endures forever. And His faithfulness is all you may remain seated for our gospel reading today. And as I read John chapter 1, verse 1, you should hear an echo of Genesis chapter 1. The Word became flesh. The Holy Gospel according to John, the first chapter. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life. And the life was the light of His people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. And we have seen His glory, the glory as of a Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of our Lord. Grace and peace to you from God our Creator and from Jesus Christ, God's only Son. Amen. Well, today I encourage you to look out our window. This is the day. If, if you just want to reposition yourself and just look out the windows this whole uh, message time, I'm all for it. I invite you to look out the windows today. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, remember? It's only been, what, three weeks now? Where we have never seen this view out the windows, those frosted window panes all of these years. And now we get to see God's glorious creation every Sunday morning we gather here. And God is the only subject of the verb to create in Scripture. God is the primary subject of all that follows. Over a dark, watery void, the spirit of divine power hovers, preparing to breathe life in and create order out of chaos. And the mode of God's creative power is divine speech. All that is needed for the creation of light, even before the sun and stars have been created, early on day one, is God's commanding word. And the word that creates also qualifies 
what it creates as good. Before God had spoke, there had been only darkness and chaos. Now, the utterance of the divine word, there is order and goodness. And there was evening, and there was morning. That's repeated through creation. The rhythm sets the first day of creation. Creation sounds like a solemn, majestic processional hymn of worship. Attesting to the beauty of God's good order, and God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning. Even as we are here this morning. The initial response to God's creation is praise. Just like our processional hymn today. And indeed, that is why the church exists. Our primary and first most part of being church is to praise God. That's why we gather. To praise God in the community. All creatures worship God most high. Sound every voice in earth and sky. Alleluia, alleluia. I wish I could drag it out like David can. Alleluia. Sing, brother, sun in splendor bright. Sing, sister, moon, and stars of night. All creatures bless the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one. Hallelujah. Think about this. Each day begins with the evening. That's how it starts. The evening actually comes first. Followed by morning. A reminder that God has been at work in the dark. Before the dawn's rays awaken a new creation, the generative activity of God precedes any new day. And so made in God's image, we also are given the chance to start each day afresh. That's the power of Jesus and the Holy Spirit at work in our lives. Every morning is a new day. God at work in that night the Holy Spirit and Jesus working in us. In John's Gospel, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. John's beginning was meant to echo Genesis chapter 1. What has come into being was life, and the life was the light of all people. And one of the most beautiful lines in Scripture, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not work. And the Word became flesh and lived among us. This has been in that little window pre COVID. This beautiful oak, not oak, I'm sorry, olive tree from Jerusalem, I should say from Israel, to remind us that Jesus is with us, Jesus incarnate. And now with that clear window, it stands out even more. Always a reminder for us that the Word became flesh and lived among us. And our gathering song today, today shines used to shine. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. But it is good for us to ponder the depth of the world's darkness and to watch for the gift of light. Learning to wait until it dawns. As we are reminded in the season of Advent, as we look forward to the coming of the birth of Jesus, Advent, waiting for the light to come into the world. And even this week, here we are on September 8th, as we are on the cusp of 9-11, the darkness of the world, the 23rd anniversary. Do you remember the darkness? That day as it developed, that next morning, and it just felt like darkness had enveloped the world, as it indeed had. 
darkness, evil. Those first raw days of emotion. Horrific act of mass terror. 23 years later, and terror still continues. Christ be our light. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. That's the other reason for church. For the transformative power of Jesus and the Holy Spirit to work through us. We'll hear and sing these words at Holy Communion today. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. And for our sending song today, we will sing, Lord Jesus, you shall be my song. As we get ready to leave this place and start a, a new work week, the first full week of school, and we continue in the fall season of our lives. And hear these words as our sending hymn. Even as we fear in the dark and the doubt of our journey, courage will come with the sound of your steps by our side. Amen. In your bulletins, I invite you to find your answer. You will recognize the tune once you hear David play it. You will recognize the tune. And I invite you to uh, stand and sing our hymn for the window deck.
I believe in God the Father Almighty. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord and Savior. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the forgiveness of sins, and the life of everlasting. Amen. You may be seated for the prayer. Trusting in God's abundant mercy, let us offer our prayers for a world in need. Holy Three, Holy One, you call the church to make disciples of all nations. Encourage bishops, pastors, and deacons in their proclamation of the gospel. And direct all the baptized into lives of humble service. Lord and joy. Holy Three, Holy One, you spoke creation into being and called it good. Protect lands and waters threatened by human misuse and sustain living creatures of every kind, wild animals, birds, and fish. Lord, enjoy. Holy Three, Holy One, you have given humankind authority over the earth. Raise up leaders who listen earnestly, speak honestly, and govern thoughtfully. Heal divisions between nations that we might agree with one another and live in peace. Lord, enjoy. Holy Three, Holy One, you promise to be with us always, to the end of the age, to draw those most in need of your healing presence, any who are lonely, all who are grieving, and those who are sick, and those we now name silently in our hearts before you. Lord and joy. Holy Three, Holy One, you set the earth on its axis, and we experience the seasons. Strengthen those enduring challenges this fall. Parents overwhelmed by child care responsibilities, and children experiencing insecurity outside of school. Lord and joy. Holy Three, Holy One, you give rest when our work is done. We give thanks for all the saints who now rest in you, confident in the promise of resurrection life in the age to come. Lord, enjoy. Receive our prayers and answer us, O oh God, in the strong name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The peace and love of Christ be with you all. I invite you to share that sign of peace with one of them. Be well in Christ. We continue now the Holy Communion and the Great Thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right our duty and our joy that we should at all times and all places give thanks and praise the almighty and merciful God through our Savior Jesus Christ. You comforted your people with the promise of the Redeemer, through whom you will also make all things new in the day when he comes to judge the world in righteousness. And so of all the choirs and angels of the church on earth and the whole of heaven, we praise your name and join our own in heaven. Holy, 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 Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in. Blessed are you for Mary's openness to your will. 
Blessed are you for your son Jesus, the word made flesh. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take in these. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup, new cup into my blood, shed came for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. With this bread and cup, we remember your word, dwelling among us, full of grace and truth. We remember our neighbor and his death and resurrection. We look to the hope for his coming. Come, Lord Jesus. Holy God, we long for your spirit to come among us. Bless this meal. May your word take flesh in us. Awaken your people. Fill us with your light. Bring the gift of peace on earth. Come, Holy Spirit. All praise and glory are yours, Holy One of Israel, Word of God incarnate, power of the Most High, one God now and forever. Amen. I invite you to join me in the prayer of our Lord Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our day of death, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy name is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. When we eat this bread, we share the body of Christ. Taste and see that the Lord is good.
receive the benediction. The God of light and hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite you to remain seated for our sending song, Lord Jesus, you shall be my song, hymn number 808. Lutheran, soon to be Peace Lutheran, stepped out in faith 55 years ago in the month of September. We celebrated our 50th anniversary of groundbreaking in 2019, it is now 2024. So we will, in the dedication of our windows, of course, sing the church's one foundation, hymn number 654. Six, five. 654, the church is one foundation. In 654. I invite you to stand.
Lord. Thanks be to God.